look, I am the only person here in this museum this morning. This is incredible. Listen, I know um, not many people are gonna watch these videos of a museum, but I just want you to know it is absolutely spectacular here. I'm gonna put away my camera and just soak it all in for a while. Um, not do any more filming, but to think I wasn't even gonna bring my GoPro this morning. Um, but I am so glad I have a record of this spectacular museum. It is incredible. And top, top notch museum of, I've seen a lot of ancient archeological museums around Greece and, uh, and Italy and, you know, other places. And this is just, it's breathtaking here to be amongst these beautiful ancient works, very well preserved, many of them, and uh, I'm just so happy to be here. Wow. This is the Antalya Archaeological Museum. I just toured it and it is spectacular. It blew me away. You shall see in the upcoming video. This is very cool. Sec second century AD. I'll spare you all the uh, descriptions of everything in this museum. I know it's not for everybody. That is cool. Andrakia, where I was. A lot of exhibits in this museum are from a lot of the sites I've been to, Patera, Panera, Mira. I love the Lycian, Lycian history. And I know somebody that would like that bowl. I got here when the museum opened and it seems that I am the first. I'm the only person here and look at this. Check this out, wow. Oh my gosh. Just gonna take a minute and soak this in. Look, I am the only person here in this museum this morning. This is incredible. This is Aphrodite. This was found in 103 different pieces. Spectacular. They put it together very nice. Most of these are Roman, sec from the second century AD, they're saying, and some earlier. 
Most of these are saying are Roman emperors that ruled um, first and second century AD during the golden age of Rome and uh, their wives. without trying to sound like too sexist or anything, but I am a guy. One thing I found common between all these ancient sculptures is virtually every single one of them knew how to sculpt a beautiful breast. This is a disc with a zodiac. It's art, the Artemis disc with the 12 signs of the zodiac. Here are the mosaics. Romans made wonderful mosaics, which I've seen in a lot of other uh, places. Still, I'm the only person here. I'm gonna have a seat just for a minute. Just to totally soak in this place. It's just not often where um, you can come to a place like this with all these ancient sculptures and be the only one in the room without bumping into other people. And this museum is just incredible. I cannot get over uh, this room, these rooms and what I've seen so far. So I'm just gonna take a minute and just sit here and relax and, and take it all in. This one is, um, of the goddess Artemis hunting as a young girl. And they say uh, it was found in Persia in 1970, it was on Earth. The other thing about these statues is, I mean, we see them like as white marble right now, but they were painted in very colorful um, statues 
in their day. This is a statue of Aphrodite. Aphrodite. The goddess Aphrodite holding a shield. It was found at Persh in 1981. Carved from fine grain, white marble. Beautiful. They just found these like 30, 40 years ago, a lot of them. Here's a statue of Nemesis it's from the second century AD. Beautiful. Another of Artemis. And this one is Apollo. I don't want to leave. Aphrodite. A priestess. If I can't pronounce the name, I'm not going to tell you who it is. Statue of a dressed woman. Statue of a woman. I thought this was a mirror, <laughs> this room. It's a whole other exhibit. My gosh. Oh, the big ones are in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's take a peek in here. More sculpture heads. This one's got to be old, maybe. Or it's made a different kind of rock. Does not say. Well, some of these are 3rd century AD. 3rd century AD. 4th century. Here's a game board. A game board. one-ton rock. Oh, these mosaics are in a little better shape over here. Okay, I think I'm going this way. Statue of a woman, it says. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hermes. Second century AD, Hermes. <laughs> oh, there's some up there, too. Emperor Trajan. Just says statue of an emperor. Trajan. Like I said, these were all vividly painted back in their time. A statue of a woman and a statue of a man. Wow. This is Alexander the Great. 
Alexander the Great. That's what this is. I'm going to listen to this one. If you come to the Antalya Archaeological Museum, I highly suggest you get the audio guide. Most of these exhibits have a number associated with them, and if you cue the number into the audio guide, it will give you a historical explanation of what you are looking at. This is from Perga. White marble. These are all from Perga. I said Persh earlier, they're pronouncing it Perga. Dionysus. Okay, let's look at this one. From Perga, second century AD. I cannot pronounce it. Marsias, Marsias. He looks angry. Dude. Okay, this is the Gallery of the Sarcophagi, which, of course, are the tombs, caskets. But a little more or ornate than, uh, than the boxes uh, we see today. These are all in very nice shape. I've been in the museum for about 45 minutes and I am the only person here. I have not seen that one other person at all. Incredible. But like I said, I got here right when it opened. Look at how intact these are. I've seen a lot of these in my travels. I have never ever seen such intact, beautiful sarcophagi like these. And this is uh, the Hercules sarcophagi found in per Perga in the second century AD. Look how good a shape this is in. Look all these columns, their noses. You know what always breaks off. They say the nose and the penis are the first things to break. It's incredible. How long would it take somebody to do this? To carve this? It would have to take, take years. Listen to one of these. I gotta find the number. I'm not seeing any numbers on these bigger ones. Look at these. Ornate. I'm going to play this one, 34. This looks very interesting. It was found in 1997. So a lot of these, the husband and wife, are depicted on a bed above. And often their children with them. This one appears to have a pet, maybe a dog. This child's holding like a little puppy or something. Their names are up here. 
and then here it is. They often have a door here that, like, would, and sometimes it depicts a fire that protects them from the underworld, they said. Oh, this is very interesting. Some battle scenes. And here's uh, inside. I don't think we can see much. These are like steels, Stellas. The 12 gods from the Lycan region are depicted here. And are interesting examples reflecting the local style of art, they say. Cool. The bottom section's composed around a smaller figure at the center. Twelve dogs, six on each side. The top are the twelve gods. The bottom, a guy with twelve dogs around. For the first time, I've been here an hour. I'm hearing now for the first time voices. at this. Third century Perga. The Dionysus sarcophagus of the attic type. Husband and wife. Actually, the voices I hear are people that work here. This is about Perseus against the Medusa. There's one of the sisters running from the sea. This is from 370 to about 370 BC. But it's Perseus against the Medusa Oh, it's her two sisters running away right there. And then this is a freeze of the rest of it. And this one, my gosh, a Roman copy of Hercules, third century BC. This is carved by, they said his name, one of the greatest sculptures of his time. Listen, I know um, not many people are going to watch these videos of a museum, but I just want you to know it is absolutely spectacular here. I'm going to put away my camera and just soak it all in for a while, um, not do any more filming, but to think I wasn't even going to bring my GoPro this morning. Um, but I am so glad I have a record of this spectacular museum. It is incredible. And top, top-notch museum of, I've seen a lot of ancient archeological museums around Greece and, uh, and Italy and, you know, other places. And this is just, it's breathtaking here to be amongst these beautiful ancient works very well preserved many of them and uh, I'm just so happy to be here wow again I'm in the Antalya Archaeological Museum
smaller sculpture, pottery, mosaics, tools. Oh, and uh, I think there are coins up here. One of my favorite parts, the coins. Take some pictures because I want to buy an Alexander the Great coin and other coins. So when I come to these museums, I take pictures of these coins to help me uh, determine whether the coins are counterfeit or not. But Aspendos, the treasure of Aspendos. The treasure of side. I love these ancient coins. This is the open air part of the museum. Huh. So I will take a walk around. I don't know where to start. Start here. Still like 10.30 in the morning and it really hasn't heated up too bad yet. Look at those big clay pots. Lots of lions here. get up on one with the best face intact and it looks like it's this one I think I went through everything. Incredible. The inside exhibits, other than the museum staff, I was the only one in there that I could see. There's some people arriving. 